I will mention the highlights in the sense that the beginning of the struggle was at the time of the announcement when he called his people together and announced to them that he was the messenger of Allah. After asking them who he was relative to themselves and they said you are the truthful, reliable, honest, best amongst us, etc. After reiterating that, then he told them, now if I tell you that I am the messenger of Allah, what is your thought? You are the biggest liar, you are the total opposite of everything they just finished saying. This was the rejection. With his announcement, the consequence was rejection. Complete rejection from the main uh, relatives, leaders of the society of the time. Then the struggle shifted to modes of persuasion. They sought to persuade him to stop. Stop this message. They tried to put pressure on his uncle who raised him, Abu Talib. Talk to this young man. Get him to stop this call, this invitation of people to the worship of one God, making slaves equal to their masters. Stop this. That failed. Abu Talib knew who Muhammad Sallallahu was and there was no way he could get the Prophet Sallallahu to give up conveying that message. So then they shifted to worldly persuasion. Worldly persuasion meaning he must be after something. He must have a hidden agenda. He's shaking up our society, creating havoc. He must have a hidden agenda. What are the usual hidden agendas? Usual hidden agendas is based on what? Wealth, money. He's after money. Okay, let's offer him. We'll make him the richest man in Mecca. Everybody will put some money together and make him the richest. That didn't work. Okay, what is the next hidden agenda? Women. Okay, let's offer him the most beautiful of our women, as many as he desires. That didn't work. Couldn't sabotage the message. Then it must be what? Power. Power, control, to be the king, the ruler. So let's offer him that, that position, that status. Still didn't work. What next? Next step is boycott. Okay, let's starve them into submission. Starve him. Of course, his, his clan supported him, the Hashemite clan. They said, if you do it to him, we have to be with him. He's from us. So the whole clan came under economic boycott to try to bring him to his knees to stop this message. But even that didn't work. Instead, it ended with a miracle which reinforced in the minds of those who wanted to think that he must have been or must be a prophet of God. The pact which they had made and had hung in the Kaaba was eaten up except for Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. That's all. Bismillah. Everything was eaten up. Even though the Kaaba was closed, he couldn't possibly know what took place. He informed them that this happened, and they went and confirmed that it had taken place. These were the evidences. The next step. Escalating step by step. Next thing is what? What's left? We have to kill him. 
assassination. This is the only thing that's going to stop this man. We just have to finish him off. So, no one clan is going to take the responsibility. So we all take the responsibility. We get young men from all of our clans and in one blow, they kill him. But Allah told him to make hijrah. He left. Thwarted their efforts. After he left, wasn't enough. They put a bounty on him and sent bounty hunters after him. And they almost caught him. Suraq ibn Malik had caught up to him. But by a miracle, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was unable to get a hold of him. Then after going to Medina, allies of the Meccans also tried to assassinate him there from Jewish clans. But they failed. And then came the major stage, the last major stage, that of what? Open warfare. Badr, Uhud, Khandaq. They tried and failed. So what was left? Truce. A truce which they worked out to their advantage as far as they could see it. They thought it was to their advantage. However, that truce failed. During the period of the truce, more people came into Islam than had ever come before. In the 13 years in Mecca, only 300 plus people accepted Islam. After the truce, truce of Hudaybiyah, you had 300 people, whole clans, coming to Islam on the one day, coming and giving allegiance to Prophet Muhammad on one day. So the truth did not benefit those who sought to utilize it in their favor. And the return, Umrah, Prophet Muhammad came to Mecca, Sahaba made Umrah, and finally the conquest of Mecca. These were the stages of the struggle of Prophet Muhammad.